Welcome in to Extra Time. Thank you as always for your tweets. The first one is for Ian Dark. Ian, it says, if they had to re-watch one Premier League team season from past seasons, who would it be and why? For me, the Invincibles mm. for footballing perfection. Um, off the top of my head, I'm going to say the year that Leicester City shocked the world by oh. winning the title. Nobody could believe it. Uh, everybody wide-eyed. Everybody saying they're going to trip up soon. They're going to stop soon. They didn't. They won the league by, I think it was 10 points in the end. It was fantastic. Jules, however, with your Arsenal ways, you are obviously <laughs> going to go with the Invincibles. I would have picked. I would have picked the Invincibles. I can. I can pick another one. It's well, fine. What's, I, that's I just a pin on your neck. <laughs> what, what's going on? It's, it's called a scarf. What? You don't have. You don't have a scarf. In, you don't have scarves in Bristol. You weren't wearing that on the show, Jules. You, you know you've got a sneak. No, but around I your was neck. freezing, and right. I was. I was allowed to wear it for extra time because extra time is cooler. You know, so I can oh, really? make my cool oh, scarf. It's more casual. Time. Uh, <laughs> oh my oh, God. Oh, I see. Wow. And Jules, yeah. Jules why, would so you, why would you pick the Invincibles? They drew 12 games. Oh. What's fantastic about that? They, they, won, they won 26 as well, though. And you know, they didn't lose any. Yeah, and surely, no one else has ever done it. So, yeah, well, they called know. Invincibles, so I know they didn't lose any. All right. Surely you would prefer to have an Invincible <laughs> season than a more wins, draws, and a bit of a loss season. Yeah. Well, so why are you picking on it? <laughs> well, why do you want to watch? Why, why do you want to? Hold on a second. Why would you sit and rewind and watch draws? Who wants to do that? Draws? Yeah. <laughs> Is this jealousy, Stephen? <laughs> Not at all. What about you jealous about? Well, because you wanted Liverpool to go invincible. I did, yeah. Yeah, and they didn't. And they didn't. And Arsenal did. Mm. Yeah, but they didn't have as many draws, though, did they? <laughs> <laughs> what <do> you <laughs> oh, you're right. Well, yes, yeah, let's you move go. on. Well, yeah. You want to see attacking football at its best, yeah. wins. Yeah, draws. Ah, the odd draw here, there, it's OK, but not a dozen. Not 12. Seriously. So, Stevie, who's better, Vidic or Virgil van Dijk? Mmm. Mmm. Ooh. Ah. Ooh. Oh. I would pick I would pick Virgil van Dijk, um, but right now you'd have to say that because of Vidic's longevity, yeah, that he would have the edge on, on a lot of people's mind. Right, but not your mind. Not your mind. I can see the argument, but I'm going to pick Virgil van Dijk because he played for Liverpool. No, because he's been absolutely outstanding mm. for Liverpool. Oh, does he play for Liverpool? I believe so. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yes, yeah, I believe yeah, that's the yeah. thing. Well, I just, we got there. I just look at players for what <laughs> they do on the field. The uh, Frank the Bird, World Cup winning. Uh -huh. uh, central defender, of course. Vidic or Van Dijk? Who are you having, Frank? Uh, oh. I, I would go for Van Dijk. I think he's more complete. I love Vidic because he was a thank you, Frank. <laughs> you know, yeah, he was a dog and he was a fantastic defender. But uh, Van Dijk can lead also uh, the, the, the team and also can range long balls. I don't think Vidic was capable of doing that. But, well, hard off to Vidic because he's a fantastic defender. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like that little bit. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> little. Uh, Ian? I might go yeah. definitely for, for Van Dyke, but I mean, remember Vidic, he was a... I think he should have been Footballer of the Year one year, Vidic. Um, I think they gave it to Scott Parker that year, and West Ham oh. were relegated. Um, but that's another story. But Vidic had Rio Ferdinand <laughs> alongside him, didn't he, uh, throughout that partnership. They, they were superb together. But I think Van Dyke has transformed Liverpool. I think he's really, more than any other player, the one that's made them, uh, well, champions elect. It's a good question here from Gab's Nemo Tattoo. <laughs> Jules and Frank, would you, would you prefer PSG win the Champions League or France win the Euros? Mm. Uh, let's start with you first, Frank. <laughs> uh, wow, wow, wow. Well. Uh, France uh, winning the Euro. Yes. Um, that would be fantastic. That would confirm the, the, the fantastic generation that we have right now. Well, Frank's but a also, Marseille yeah, fan, isn't he? Would yeah. be fant it, Yes, I was a captain of Marseille, so people would think yeah. that I hate Paris Saint-Germain. I don't. I have friends, you know, uh, working at the, at the club. Um, it would be fantastic for the PSG, but it's more local, and I have to think about my country, and yeah. uh, we'd rather see France winning the, the Euro. Now, what about Mr. PSG oh, TV oh, himself? Here we go. Here no contest. Uh -huh. Take it away, Joe. Do Jules? I really need to answer? I could not <laughs> care less about the Euros. I could not care less about France and wow. Didier Deschamps. All for the Champions League. Wow. 
That was a nap. Wow. What yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, no, you know, I just, re I said, I just received a phone call from uh, people in France. You're not allowed to come back to France from now yeah. on. There we go. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> well, the it's moment, okay, nobody's allowed back in France. Right, right then. <laughs> Where does Stevie think Tom Brady is going? Well, <laughs> well big no picture. Wait, yeah. I, have, I honestly have no idea. You were no saying idea. the crafts released a similar statement when you uh -huh. left. Yeah. yeah, well, they yeah. just, what they did, it was the same words. They just changed. Uh -huh. My name, uh, Tom. Right, yeah. that was, it was it. exactly the exactly same. Exactly the same Alec. statement. Mm -hmm. Yes. Where do you think he's going to go? I'm not having a clue. No. Mm. Ali, where do you think? He's a California guy. Right. Northern California guy. Oh. How about San Francisco 49ers, who have a team in place, yeah. and he is a much better version than Jimmy Garoppolo, who's That's the current. That's Garoppolo, though. Didn't he just lead him to no, the Super yeah, Bowl? Just did, uh, yeah, but didn't win it. And oh. let me tell you, Tom Brady has won a few. Has he? I'm just, I'm, look, I'm just, yeah. I'm just throwing it out there. Well, he's pretty much said that the reason he's leaving the Patriots is because the offense isn't particularly great and he doesn't see it changing. Right. So, I don't think it matters whereabouts in the country it is, it's, it's about what offense is, is on the verge of doing something. Are, are you going to break down the offense <laughs> right now of the New England Patriots? Is no, I'm, what we're doing? I'm going to save that for the uh, Stevie's season. Stevie's top 10 power ranking. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to save it for me and Barnsley in case Channel 4 want us back again. In honour of St. Patrick's Day, which ESPN FC talent would look best wearing a green blazer? Well, who would have thought Stevie turned up in green? Oh, yeah. This is a complete coincidence, isn't it? <laughs> Absolutely no idea you knew it was St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> 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 I was desperate to see no him. <laughs> All right, then. Here we go. Concentrate. Listen very carefully, Frank. Okay? Mm -hmm. Would you yeah. rather mm -hmm. fight one horse-sized duck or 100 duck-sized horses? What? Wow. <laughs> uh, I don't even know what it is. A horse-sized <laughs> duck or, or, or a duck-sized horse. Um, can you help me out? Well, <laughs> well, yes, you, so you're either going to have mm. one big duck, one massive duck, uh -huh. or a yeah. hundred small, like a duck, but they're actually a horse. So a hundred of those coming at you, or one big duck. Uh -huh. No, no, one uh, small uh, horses, 100 <laughs> small horses. <laughs> you That's nice. 100 That's small horses. Well, why would you do that, Frank? Because then, if, it's just, if you're just fighting one thing, That's right. then you've got your eye on it all the time. Yeah, but it's a big Co thing, Stevie. Yeah, but, yeah, but you've got 100. Yeah, single-minded You don't know where they're coming it's from. you in the eye. Do you ever, do you ever watch a wildlife <laughs> programme? Yes, yeah, of course. Well, why do you think hyenas and all that? They all come in numbers. Yes, because it's far easier. Yeah, it's far yes, easier. Hyenas have got more to them than a little horse. It's, what do, you want, do you want to hear me answer? It's far <laughs> easier with the numbers to overcome a prey. Well, it depends how that big, than one. Surely how big it is, though, isn't it? Oh, it's a big duck. Hey. Have you not seen Jurassic Park and the little ones? <laughs> yeah. The little, the little dinosaur that yeah. they come and get you, a bunch of them at the same time? No, you don't want, a, you don't want any part of a hundred of anything. Really? No. No? no? Jules? No, you focus on the one big duck. Of course you do. I'd be worried about the big duck. No, but you oh. get under the wings, you know, you get inside, <laughs> right there, and then, and then, and then, you gotta go. And then uppercut oh, here. I don't want to have a Jab, jab, jab. Ian? Dan, the problem is you're going to have a flat, yeah. a flat head at the end of the, of the, of the, of the, of the fight. You know, if, the, if he bites you, you know, he's going he's gonna to end up with a flat head. That's going to be horrible. Right. Uh, Ian, you're a boxing yeah, I've commentator. Got, I've got to say, guys, I've got to say, this is the most bizarre question, and there have been a few in the entire history of Extra Time. I mean, has this been sent in by somebody on Mars? <laughs> I don't know. Of, yeah. Come on, you, you can you can answer it though, Eric. I'm right, Eric. Yeah, I'm well, I, Eric. I, I, I definitely go for the horses. Really? <laughs> what? You take on the hundred horses? Yeah. yeah. I'm not taking a hundred. Right. Oh, that's tough. Julianne. Julianne Scarf could oh, surely come in. Oh, that's I go for the big duck. Yeah. I go you, for the duck every day. You could the wrap that down. scarf from yeah, his neck and yeah, strangle it. He'll go with the scarf and just swing it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah, got him. Oh my. Well, there you go. I would say you would be quackers to take the big duck on. Right, take me go. Take uh, me go. See, that's a, that's <laughs> oh, that's I did not understand that. See, it's not, it's not my native language, you see. So. Oh, my Somebody goodness. Somebody must have told you that in your ear. No. What? Our producer? Yeah. She doesn't even know what day it is. <laughs> <laughs> that is it. We are what? done. We will be back tomorrow.
Who knows what questions we'll be addressing tomorrow. Stevie, you're off, yes? Hi. Ali will be here with I'm Shaka, here, uh, plus another cast of characters from around the globe. Please be sure to join us. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.